to the 13th Mac User's Guide podcast for 2009. Mac User's Guide offers you the latest news, reviews, how-tos, and expert opinions on everything Mac users need to know about Apple's line of Mac computers and software. Our podcast series and website offer Mac users from beginners to pros all the information they could want about Apple software and products from OS X to iPhone apps, all in one place. This podcast is produced and edited by Mac User's Guide. This video podcast focuses on how to upgrade a Power Mac G5 hard drive, featuring step-by-step instructions on how to open, remove, reinstall the hard drive, and how to put things back together again. Let's start by opening up the G5. There's a handle at the back of the computer that will open up the side panel. Once the side panel is off, there's a clear acrylic insert. You'll have to remove this as well. Once open, you'll see the two hard drive bays, A and B. Move the hard drive lock up, and then disconnect the SATA and power supply connectors. Repeat this for drive B as well. To remove the hard drives, you'll have to remove the bottom one first, drive B, and then come back and remove drive A. Preparing the hard drive is really easy. All you have to do is remove the four screws that are on each corner of the drive. Sometimes when the drives come from the factory, the screws are over tightened. Use a screwdriver to loosen them. I'll be replacing my old drive with a Seagate Barracuda. Start by preparing this drive with replacing the screws that you removed from the other drive. Only hand tighten these screws. Reinstalling the hard drive is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is start with the middle track, slide the hard drive in, reattach the power and the SATA cable. Then you want to flip the locking latch back down to lock the drive in place. The second drive goes in the same way as the first drive, except that it goes in on the bottom track. Slide it into place. Reattach the power and SATA cable, and then flip the locking latch down. Once the drives have been reinstalled, replace the acrylic door. Then reinstall the outer door. Then simply push the latch down and it's locked back in place. If you're planning to use the drive as the system disk, you will have to initialize it. Put in the installer disk, launch disk utility, select the drive, click erase, make sure it's on Mac OS extended journaled Name the drive, and then click Erase. A dialog will appear to ask you if you are sure you want to erase this drive. Simply click Erase. Once the drive has been initialized, you can close Disk Utility. This will take you back to the welcome screen in the system installer. Then you can select the drive from here and click Continue. Click Customize to add or remove options. I usually uncheck Print Drivers and Language Translations. This will save you some space when installing your system. Finally, click the Done button and then click Install and you're ready to go. You can learn more about this and other tips at macusersguide.com's help desk or tune in every week to our podcast series.